Chad, you're the organizer of this event here in Oshawa, aren't you? Yes, I am. That's what I've been told. Um, so, so how long have you been working on putting this together, Chad? Uh, about a month. So uh, this is a wall that I've actually I've been trying to get this wall for probably about a year and a half, so that we finally uh, worked everything out. We got all the uh, fine details taken care of, and it all worked out. This is huge, and it's many walls. Now, um, where are some of these artists from, Chad? Uh, we got people from Ottawa, Montreal, Halifax, um, Toronto, Hamilton, Oakville, uh, all over. Uh, people from Kingston. So we have about 45 artists out here, all painting their work together. This is amazing, and everyone has such a, a unique, different style. To see it all come together on these walls is, yeah. is really exciting. You know people everywhere through doing this. Yeah, so um, I've been doing it for 23 years, and uh, I'm considered one of the guys like, you know, the organizers or the guys that kind of get people together. And I've always been a people person. So a lot of the artists, they're like introverts or they're just, they're not really the type of people that gather. So it takes somebody like myself to take charge and kind of get those people involved. So all these people that you see today, uh, all the artists that are here, they're just people that are kind of like at uh, the tip of my fingers that I know that are good people, that I know if I um, get them to come out, they'll be reliable, they'll be respectful, they'll take care of the property, um, stuff like that. Well, that, that's fantastic that you're <laughs> respected in the community uh, far beyond Durham region. And uh, we've appreciated some of the great things you've done in downtown Oshawa in the oh, past while you. and running the, the paint factory uh, when it was a gallery on Bond Street. And uh, you continue to do uh, commission work as well, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. so uh, the commission works really, uh, really busy with all that. Um, it's been a very lucrative year and whenever I do really well financially, I always try to do something that gives back to the community or the graffiti community. Um, I try to create opportunities for the graffiti artists um, without all the, uh, red, the tape. red tape and, and like the watered down aspect of it. I keep it as pure as possible. Well, then the artists get to express themselves. Exactly. Like yeah. today, um, we have no media. We have no funding. We have no... Um, we're not... There's no real uh, fan base here. It's strictly artists only. And um, I think that's something that when you do more of a large scale community project, they need to justify the use of spending or uh, the use of a budget. And there's all these kind of check marks we gotta check off. And with this, there's none of that. That's We're fantastic. just doing what we wanna do. It's positive, it's nothing negative. And a lot of people have been cooped up and they're just dying to oh, make yeah. use of the good weather while it's still here. 100%, 100%. So, to stay sane, we gotta do our art, That's right? Great. So, like any uh, buddy that has passion for anything, right? Well, well Chad, uh, it's fantastic what you've put together here today. And if anyone wants to check this out, it's going to be up, hopefully indefinitely, just oh, yeah. west of uh, Simcoe and Taunton Road. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well done, very Thank well you. done. We're hoping to make this like an annual thing. So with this space that we're given, um, the Mission Thrift Shop, and the, the uh, they do amazing things. So they've given us the opportunity to paint the back of their shop. Um, the storage units were all covered in vandalism and swear words and racist comments and we were able to paint over that and do something fresh and it's a win-win-win and all the businesses here they've all uh, been super generous and uh, we've been spending money at the, at the businesses and uh, we've had little kids come and take photos um, you're gonna have teenagers doing TikTok videos here you're gonna have people with nice souped up cars, parking their cars, using it as a backdrop. Um, hip hop artists, musicians, dancers. That's what's good. So yes, we're painting graffiti, but it ends up being so much more. It has a life afterwards. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well done, Chad, thank oh, you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.